All right, let's do another one. Concerned internet user asks, what strategies can be employed for better employee motivation and engagement? I love this question. I talk about this a lot. There's a lot of things that motivate employees. There's a lot of things that motivate all of us. One of the big things that's really important if you want to get your employees motivated or if you're an employee who's looking for some motivation, it's really important for us to find meaning in what we do. How does it contribute to the big picture? How does it make the world a better place? How does it do some good in the world? These are the things that people are looking for. These are the reasons people are leaving jobs right now is because they're not finding meaning in their work. The people who left their jobs in 2021 looking for a better job, 50% of them are leaving again in 2022 and 2023 looking for that meaning. So if you're having trouble in motivating your employees or you're not, you know, you're just not seeing that motivation you look for, you're not even sure how to get them motivated in the first place, sit them down and talk to them about why what we're doing here at this organization is important. Whether you're a for-profit company, a nonprofit organization, a community organization, whatever it is you're doing, sit down with folks, have conversations with them. Make sure they understand why in the grand scheme of life, what it is that you're doing as a group is important and why that individual contribution that they make is important to making that meaning happen for all the folks that are gonna benefit from it. All right, another question, right side up this time. What makes a leader successful in diverse industries? Technical knowledge aside, which isn't always necessary to be a leader in the industry you're in. I know a lot of people think that you do, but there are a couple things that make leaders successful. Some of it is that organization, some of it is that attention to detail, some of that is that persistence to keep working on something and just get it done. No matter what industry you're in, those are tools that are going to serve you. But even more importantly than those, and I don't want you to discount those, those are important. If you truly want to be a leader, if you want to get people going towards a goal that's worth achieving, it's really important to be able to have a vision and communicate that vision to people. Just maintaining the status quo is not something that gets people motivated and excited to show up every day and to give, give their all, go above and beyond to get something done. It's important to reach for the stars a little bit. It's important to break the status quo, have a vision that's going to change the world. You don't have to do it in a big way. You don't have to completely try to change the world, but do something that's worth doing. And that's not, that's not an inborn skill. Some people think you're born with that. That is something you'd work on and develop over time. You do it slowly. You go, how can this be a little better today? And then start seeing how can I make the world a better place in bigger and bigger ways. And when you do that, that will help you be a leader in your industry. <laughs> 